the 262 was had a marvelous design. It was an uh, aircraft of the future. The 262 was much superior over any uh, any Allied fighter what I, what you met at the time in the in the air, whether it was an American one or whether it was an English one. You were feeling like a king against these uh, other aircraft, enemy aircraft in the air. That the 262 had a lot of difficulties, uh, especially with the engine, and especially with the speed. For example, the engine was a very bad engine. The, the material of the engine was, was at that time, at the end of the war, not the best one. So you, you every time had to look very carefully what your engine is doing. The second one was, we didn't have at that time any speed brakes or dive brakes on that aircraft. And so, so out of it came, when you went into a shallow dive, you came very near to what we called at that time the Mach effect. The Mach effect was the speed of the sound. Uh, we called it the Mach effect, not knowing too much about the speed of the sound. The 262 was at that time that aircraft that you ever were expecting to be better than any other aircraft in the world. And no doubt of this, uh, also it had a lot of difficulties, as I mentioned. It was the best aircraft that you could find at this time. No doubt I like it.